Dean, I'm sure you'll be looking for a response from the lads uh, after, after a disappointing defeat uh, last weekend against Chesterfield. Yeah, a disappointing defeat. Um, an OK performance against a very strong side uh, last week. But yeah, we're going obviously into the Lions then tomorrow. It's another top side. I think they won six on the bounce. And um, obviously their ambition is to get from out of this division. All the pressure's on them. And we've got to go there. We've gone there with a game plan. And hopefully we can execute it. What's the week been like for for yourself? Because uh, last last weekend you, you touched on that you were looking to strengthen the squad in, in in certain areas. It's been frustrating, to be totally honest with you. Um, from my point of view, not from the players' point of view, the players' attitude's been excellent towards training. We've had a little bit of a couple of blips. Um, we're hoping to sign a player today. Um, I hope it would have been done earlier in the week. It's still not done yet, so we're hoping to get that completed today. Hopefully, we'll have news here. Obviously, today's Thursday, so. It's uh, games tomorrow's Friday. Uh, we need it done really because at this moment in time we have 14 fit players going to Notts County. And um, we're going to have to promote a young lad out of the, the academy, which we'll do. And hopefully we can get the uh, sign in completed so we can have a 16 man squad going up there. Adam Marriott and uh, Mason Bloomfield both rolled their ankle on the training pitch. Um, the condition training pitch is not ideal, so they both rolled their ankle, so they're out. Um, Good news on the positive side of things. Uh, sorry, just go back uh, on who's out. Efron's got uh, COVID. Uh, Josh Payne's got COVID. Um, Sarah Tazdemir's got COVID. Um, so we've got lads with COVID. Keen Flanagan on the positive side of things is back out on the grass and trained today for the first time, which is great news. Hopefully he can be back next next week. Um, Joe Widderston, a little bit of progress on him. He said he's obviously his first operation. His second operation is due in, in uh, February. So... Uh, we're all rooting for him. Um, he's in around the he's around the ground every day and around the club walking with our physiotherapy team. So um, we've got a few out. It's a it's a difficult moment for us at the minute. Not County kind of a strong side with a lot of firepower. As we know that they've scored nine goals in the last three games. They play three five two. Um, Rodri- Rodriguez likes to come and link the play off the front. He plays a front one. He likes to come in the deep areas. Highly intelligent footballer. All three midfielders highly intelligent. Uh, technically excellent. Um, they try to overload you in wide areas with their wing backs and their centre backs um, and they come after you to be fair they're a really good side really well coached um, Michael Doyle's a personal friend of mine assistant manager there so I know that coach really well as, 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 as well as the head coach so uh, good side really good side um, play a little bit different to Chesterfield not as physical as Chesterfield but a uh, side that I believe will be in the title race so we have a game plan when we go there we've got a uh, you know, we've got to try to stop their strengths. They have got weaknesses, like every team in this division has weaknesses. Um, and no doubt they'll be trying to expose ours. So it's going to be an intriguing game. Should, should be a big crowd for the match. How, how can our supporters uh, help us out with, uh, with, with getting behind us? Yeah, look, we want the supporters to get behind us. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get a few supporters to travel up there. And I was difficult on a Friday night after walk on a Friday and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, look, a massive club, Notts County. So... The best thing we can do is, is drown them out by performances, uh, performance on the pitch. Um, if we can perform and you know nullify what they do well and do what we do well, and um, we can hurt them. So, um, and that's the only way is that you nullify uh, the opposition's crowd, especially going away from home. And you quiet them by putting in a good performance. Um, so that's our players' responsibility and my responsibility. And then hopefully, like away at Stockport, um, we can give our supporters something to cheer about. You've touched on it. There was a big result at Stockport, and we've got a great opportunity to, to go and get a, another fantastic result um, under the lights at, at Meadow Lane. Yeah, ideally, we'd like to go full strength. You know, uh, opportunity was, and they're flying. So, um, but you know, you look Tuesday night. Nobody would have predicted that Alan Devonshire's team would have beat Chesterfield, and they did. And I was at the game, and uh, I thought they were excellent. I mean, absolutely outstanding performance. Two a man, they stood up, they ran all over the opposition, they matched them, and. Uh, the boy Kelly up front was outstanding. He led the line brilliantly, and that's the kind of performance we're going to need if we're going to pick up, you know, anything in this game. And and, and just finally, um, how, how much are you looking forward, forward to Friday night football under the lights? Yeah, yeah, it's just another game to me. You know, we can play it in the park. It doesn't bother me. A pitch is a pitch. Um, we're just focused on the detail in the game, focused on the game plan, and making sure our players penetrate our game plan, which is important. We have got our own threats. You know, like Powell's fit. Paul's fit, we've got some good players ourselves, so you know we want them to produce a bit more. It's obviously another stepping stone for Powell who's been out for a while. He's a big player for us. Um so 
uh, yeah, we'll, look, we're looking forward to the game, which is very important. Ideally, we'd like to go in at full strength, but we don't. And we'll, there'll be a massive test of our character, a huge test of our character as a team, um, from the management team all the way through to our supporters and to our, and to our players.